<laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. TJ Tampa. TJ Tampa. So this rascal I had to I had to build because he um he didn't do any stuff at the combine. So I took what I did was I took his stuff from the um the beast uh little pamphlet and took it to the uh Raz website okay. and this is what it shot me out. So his Raz is 6.34, but obviously he didn't do everything. But um height uh was little six feet, weight 189. I uh, ran a four five eight at his pro day, a 20 yard split of 2.65 and a 10 yard split of 164. Uh he had shuttle of what four? I don't know if this number necessarily right, but I don't know if they shut it right. But it's three cones, six, nine, seven. And so this it shot me out a Raz of 6.34. But as far as TJ Tampa and you, you can see his best attribute just by looking at this picture. And it's the long <laughs> ass arms. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that's why I picked this picture because, because of them arms. But um, what do you see on, on tape of, of TJ Tampa? Yeah, you know, like you said, you know, that crazy wingspan that he has, you know, that that's going to be able to shut down throwing lanes um we see that kind of see that with sauce gardner where you know sauce gardner will get beat but he's able to recover with those long limbs that he has and and you know tighten up those those windows that quarterbacks have and you see that with with uh, tj tampa as well um i think with him uh you right now i think he's better off in zone than he is in in man coverage right now i just think he has <laughs> that what what happened? The same exact words on my paper. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> um, but that that short shuttle, I guess I didn't see that. Um, that nine nine oh three grade that he got, mm -hmm. you see that on tape. Because because in my notes I have um uh just average athlete athleticism has mm -hmm. better quick change uh change of direction uh for his has better quick area change of direction for his size but lacks the long speed to keep up downfield and you know you kind of see that with that four five four four five but his feet are ridiculous when it comes to to just being able to to stop and start and and keep up with even smaller quicker wide receivers like i, I was really impressed with him because usually with these dudes that have the long limbs you kind of see them lumber out of you know the breaks and you you not able to see them change that that speed up uh, the way that Tampa does, but I was really impressed by that. And what I was kind of surprised at is how little uh, he was used as far as press man. Mm -hmm. um, you have a guy with this length and this size, and you know the the foot quickness that he has, and you didn't really see them put him in in those situations to really get up on the line of scrimmage and that's goes to what we spoke about with the first guy cam hart mm -hmm. you know cam hart they were not wasting that size and that that athleticism and with iowa state it kind of feels like they they didn't really use him to the best of his capabilities in my opinion um not not to say that you know he was wasted there but i, I think it could have been a lot more than he actually was what and what i got for him is um well, he got – let's talk about his numbers real quick. Uh, played 747 snaps this year. Was targeted 49 times with a 51% uh, catch rate. Uh, had three interceptions last year and this year total. And then uh, PBUs last year and this year were 16 total. Um, and so with that short shorter, that is right. His, he was a 407. That was at his pro day. And these, these numbers come from his pro day, and they come from the beast thing. So he didn't do anything at the combine. It's because of his hamstring. But he did. Uh, he ran a four five eight at his pro day, uh, so all those numbers on there are right. But they're from his pro day and not at his combine. So that's what that's what those numbers came from. But I got. Uh, he was second team Big Ten, all Big Ten, Big Twelve. I'm sorry, twenty twenty two. I got better in zone than man. He's a willing tackler, long arms. Uh, again, I wrote better in zone than man. I don't know why, but not trashing man. Uh, can't open his hips as fluently as like the really good corners in this class. That's why I think man coverage is a problem for him. Uh, his long arms do help him impress, but his long arms really help him in rerouting uh, receivers in um, zone coverage. He, uh, I got, he doesn't chase cheese in in um, in zone, and it helps him to uh, redirect and go get um, interceptions when he does. I, I can't remember who he was playing against, but it was one in particular play. They ran a they ran something. 
I'm gonna say it was smash. And the receiver ran, he ran out, then he ran in. And he he chased him on the out because obviously that's his coverage. And then he ran in, he just stood there. And so they tried to run a corner over top of him because of those long arms, he he didn't take any unnecessary steps in chasing that little shallow route. He was able to get back over top of the corner route and pick it off. And then he just looked at the, at the DB like, <laughs> I mean, at the corner, at the receiver like, I thought I was going to chase that. And he just flipped the ball and walked off. So that, that shows me a lot of discipline. And that shows me how much better he was in zone versus man. Because, you know, and man, if you're a man guy, you was going to chase that a little bit, trying to think he was going to get, you know, get you a pick six or something like that. But he just let it go in. And he he, he got his eyes to see if anything was coming. He saw the corner coming over the top. Sinked up under it, made the pick, and you look at him like y'all really tried me, huh? <laughs> but uh, and in my fact, I think it might have been this game with this um with this because it was a snow game, might have been versus Kansas State. I think they played Kansas State in the snow, so yeah. it might have been this game right here. But um, and he's not gonna go early. He's might be one of those guys that can, can go third or whatever. But any of these these long corners that you can that you don't have to play right now that can develop into a Richard Sherman type corner, you might can get a steal out of them. You might can really get a steal out of them because, you know, getting them late and if they develop, if you got, you got a good coach, you got a good system, they can help you. They really can help you, especially if you ain't just set in playing man all the time. If you ain't just set in playing man and you got, if you got a decent front four and you can get home with four, which, Last year we were able to do that. I don't know if we were able to do it this year, but last year we were able to get home with four some, and you got corners with some kind of length. That's gonna help. That'll help. Yep, and, and I think you know you spoke 